Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are just outside to see the weather it's well it's not dreadful it's just eh, um, no sun whatsoever and it's about noon the sun should be over here somewhere it's behind a very very thick cloud layer and that has a great impact on our solar panels up here so let's go see what that does for our solar so here next to my computer I have this little older uh, iPad 2 uh, which I use for mostly just for this at the moment and we can see that the solar panels are generated just below 50 volts or that's what they're at right now and there is 35.3 watts coming in that's not great and the batteries are really low they are at 30 percent that is not good I, uh, I kind of discovered that the batteries was very low on my birthday that's 20 days ago now and they haven't well we haven't had enough sun for them to come up again so that's a, it's a rather big problem sometimes it comes up I've seen it as high as 57% uh, when there's actually some sun but then they fall down again I think they're uh, self-discharging faster than the sun is coming in right now so uh, those 14 years old batteries might not be as good as they used to be we can see that there is 35 watts going into the batteries and they are at 44.6 volts and the time right now is 11:16. yeah hopefully maybe the cloud cover will be a little bit thinner and we can kind of we can go and see history here there um, I've turned everything off so I'm not using any power whatsoever I'm just storing power on the batteries and today we have charged the batteries with 69 watt hours uh, that's not a lot it's well and then they went to 70 it's not even enough to run my computer for one hour so that, that's it's that's why it's dreadful weather outside so yeah we can we can go further down and we can see what have it been doing uh, for the last month so we can kind of see here I found out that the batteries was really low so I turned it off and still it has been using a little bit of power and then I turned some more off and the last part of the month it hasn't been using anything and it has been doing only ever so slightly and with an average of 810 watt hours a day and this last portion really low nothing well, a few good days but the best sunshine has been definitely over here before I shut it off and then there was a couple of really dreadful days which was also probably why the and I was still using uh, a lot of power and why the batteries got so low and yeah I didn't discover that quick enough so down here in the basement we have the charge controller right here where the solar power is coming in and it is distributing that for there's 12 batteries here there is 12 batteries over here and as you can see well you can't very well see that the inverter is off but it is and it's not supplying any power to to the distribution thingy which is also turned off haven't been able to use any solar power for the last 20 days ish we um we're gonna be working on that today i want to try and, um, and get a little bit further with this battery project uh, I have these four lithium iron banks here that I've made <laughs> over the course of the last three years it seems and let's see if we can't hook that up I want to hook them up through this box so what I want to do is uh, oh stay there ah, it's not gonna stay there ah. I want to make some cables that that goes out of the box and over to the connections of the batteries here so I can turn off a battery disconnect it or connect it and then turn it on so that I don't get a big spark over here when I do that so we are we working on that so yeah so I have been preparing for this my first thought was that oh I already have the cables for this I have this very nice and uh, bought for exactly this project six millimeter square cables I have five meters of that or have used of it so there is not five meters in there 
but it turns out that, and I have it both in black and, and red but these connections for the for the batteries well they won't take that six uh, they will almost take six millimeters but not quite and this is overkill uh, we are only drawing a maximum of 15 amps through this and that's the maximum the BMS in there is uh, is only rated at 15 amps if I draw full power on the inverter down there which is a 2500 watt inverter uh, and there is four batteries that has to to well give an equal share that's about 12 amps so 12 amps is probably the maximum that I would ever see out of that and therefore I went out and I purchased some cables that was a little bit thinner so that it would be easier to work with and this is four millimeter square and this is good for some 30 30 amps something so way good enough and we're gonna be making it so that each battery comes over here probably goes out that way and and connects to the batteries uh, yeah and these are these are only 13 amps breakers but they will do 13 amps for a little bit and then they will break these are AC automatic breakers so I'm more or less just using them as a big switch because I can't really trust um, them to to disconnect the BMS will be the safety there um, but I need to make four cables that will just go out and reach the batteries and I need to find out how long those cables are gonna be so I went in there and measured this is apparently about the longest cable that I'm gonna need so I'm gonna, gonna make two cables one black one red of that length black Oh, diesel fader kit, uh, available on my shop. <laughs> and then we're gonna copy that over to the red one. There. And we're gonna cut that as well. There. And I will solder those onto this connection. It shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And I even found some, some heat shrink that I can put on there. Some black and some red. It's gonna be marvelous. Okay, I'm about ready to solder. I replaced the tip of the soldering iron because that one was, um, well, it was meant for very, very fine SMD work, very pointy. Let's see, um, these small connections very important there's a little plus there and on the other side there's a minus so um, <clears throat> it's a good idea to put the cable in the right way otherwise we're gonna have to do this over and let's see this is the plus side so we need that one I don't have to put the heat shrink on right now because I can do that from the other end and that way it doesn't get unintentionally heated oh this is a, a lot easier and I can hold it with the soldering iron, I think. Yes, I can get the solder, the tin. Great. And we'll just do that again with the black one here. Oh, it sits all by itself. Awesome. Okay. Okay, I just checked under the microscope. Um, it's not a microscope, it's a lens. I just checked under the magnifying glass, that's it. There was a little bit of soldering missing, so I, um, I gave it some more. And we're ready for the heat shrink, so I'm gonna put the, the red heat shrink on first. Good. And a piece of black heat shrink. And 
then just a little bit with the heat gun. That's one. I have um, I have three more to go before we can do any more. So uh, uh, be right back. There's a few things that you can do more efficiently when you're doing a lot of, of them at a, at a time. Okay, I have just drilled eight holes in here and the idea is that well, I want the longest one to go in here and then so forth so longest second to longest third to longest shortest so and then go up and connect to each uh, connector up here uh, it's just gonna be one of the wires because there is only one connector here so and I'm probably it's gonna be the red one and the black ones I'm just gonna connect all of the black ones together in a big thinky and then um, yeah let's see if we can get those these through the holes. Which one do I want? If they come in here, which one do I want? Could I, I could have the black one go up here. Okay, I'll figure that out. Okay, so the red cable is going into the the breaker and uh, the black one are gonna be connected to some other black ones or all the other black ones. So, uh, yeah, one down. And then I need to connect all of them up here and just have two wires going out and that will power the, the inverter together with all the lead acid batteries. So I said that I would maximum see 12 amps out of each of these. It would be considerably less because the lead acid batteries will also be supplying the inverter. I thought that I had found a really great solution for these, uh, the black wires to put those together and, and just have one of them going on. Well, it's gonna go on to the charge controller, right? Uh, until I found that this is only rated for 20 amps. Over here it does say 32 amps. If it's 20 or if it's 32, it's still not enough. I need more than that. Uh, I just did the math and their inverter, those 2500 watts, they actually draw 52 amps and not the 40 something that I uh, was telling you about. So it actually has to do a little bit more than that. It adds up with 13 amps on each of these. That, that's actually gonna do it. But um, yeah, this needs to be able to handle some more. It's not a problem with each of these cables. It's a problem with the one that's going out of there that is going to be um, combining the power out of there so yeah we need to oh this was a good solution i liked it too bad okay so i was just at the computer trying to figure out if there was a better quick connect thinky and i couldn't find any so i have now mounted this instead that will handle it but um it's not as cool as the other one so I need to connect all of these together. That's where um, a single connection is gonna go up to the charge controller. So uh, we need some um, something to go from one to another here and then become a big fat cable in the other end. Okay, I've run into a bit of a hiccup. I don't have any cable that is good to go from here and there and on to the, to the charge controller. Well, I have, I have this six millimeters, but that's just a little bit too little. If I use two of them, it's fine. I do also have some red thing here. That's 10 millimeters. That would also do, but then I'm missing the black, the black lead. And I want that as well. So um, yeah, let's just go check the controller and we can kind of see the cables in there. And they just have to be about that thick. So yeah, I think this is, I think that's 10 millimeters. I've just been looking at this, seeing how to put that together. But I do believe that I'm gonna be stopping here because uh, I need those cables. That's gonna improve what I'm doing here. 
but over here I have the box here I'm in the way of the light sorry about that and it's gonna be sitting on the corner here and have the cables going out that way I'm gonna find some way to fasten it here not sure how to do that yet but that would look good that it was fastened there and then you can open it up turn on and off actually turn it off and then turn them on um, they are more or less always just going to be on but and then the cables will just meet up with the battery banks each of them has a good length so that they will reach okay um, but that's about where we're I think when I screw it together it can just sit there but it has an irritating thing on the bottom here I might be able to to make that ever so slightly smaller so that it's gonna sit a little bit better so yeah I will admit that I didn't get as far as I had hoped for in this video but I need some cables to go out of this and over to the second charge controller over there that one with the open box in the bottom and we need to do that right so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna shop for some 10 millimeters or some 16 millimeter cable to go over there and when I have done that we can continue on this project but I hope that you will nevertheless give this little video a like down there um, if you'd like to see the continuing of it and uh, I would also encourage you to go and visit my little shop where I try to sell you all my surplus of computer and server hardware and if I don't have what you're looking for I very much recommend bargainhardware.co.uk in the United Kingdom and if you go to bargain hardware and buy something at the checkout you can use the coupon code or the discount code or whatever you call that code uh, my playhouse small letters links in the description and you will get five percent off of your purchase so um thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye